welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel, and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel recently. Uh, I did that DIY Christmas lamp post video, and it just kind of went crazy, and I've gotten so many new subscribers to my channel. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm fairly new to this YouTube gig, and so it's really encouraging to me and I'm really excited to do more DIY projects, so I'm just so happy that you're here. And if you're new to my channel and you've not yet subscribed, please do so by hitting that subscribe button and also the bell when it pops up so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So today's video is a project that uh, kind of came about because of some comments that were made on the Christmas lamppost video. Uh, Michelle had commented about doing kind of the same type of project with the cute little mailboxes that the Dollar Tree is carrying. So they have these cute little gift boxes that open and have a little flag and they have several different styles. And uh, she wanted to know if we could do maybe the same type of thing and then maybe use uh, uh, like the handle from uh, the Dollar Tree plungers because those are a wooden handle. Um, and so at first I was not able to find this at my Dollar Tree, but I went to a different uh, Dollar Tree in a different town and found these. And so today's DIY is going to be making a mailbox post um, for the holidays. And um, the cool thing about this project is it's a lot easier than the Christmas lamp post that I did and it, it will go together a lot faster and you don't need any tools for it um, other than just like a, a box cutter or a um, razor knife. So that's really the only tool that you need, hot glue gun, but, um, but no power tools. So that's really cool. So I'm excited to bring this to you. So thank you, Michelle, for your comments. And I hope you like this mailbox video and if you haven't seen the Christmas lamp post that I did um, out of Dollar Tree items I will put that link here in the video and also in the description box below and so let's get into this DIY mailbox project. For this project you will need a container for the base and you can use a planter from the Dollar Tree or some type of bucket like this galvanized one with the twine around the top. You also need a package of the floral foam. I got the one with two round pieces in it just because those will fit really nice in the bucket I'll be using. And you'll wanna pick up a Dollar Tree plunger because we're going to use the handle from that. Also some Spanish moss. And I picked up two bags of these stones that I'm going to be using in the base uh, to help weight it down to make it more stable. You'll also want some type of embellishments. I'm going to be using some type of Christmas floral stems from Dollar Tree. You also need some craft paint to paint the post and I'm using white and then I'm going to use a little bit of black as well and a paintbrush. And then of course a mailbox. This is the largest size mailbox. They did have them in I believe three different sizes. I picked up the largest size and they had them in various patterns. I liked this little snowman pattern. You also need some of these pine garland ties. They come in a package of 12 at Dollar Tree, a hot glue gun and glue sticks. Then you'll need a box cutter or razor knife. And I had the idea last minute to use these fairy LED lights, but that's totally optional. The first step is to unscrew the handle from the plunger and just set the handle aside and we'll get to it in a minute. But then we're going to take the plunger and the razor knife and in that circle, just follow the circle around um, in the center of the plunger on the bottom side and just cut around that circle. Uh, just be really careful uh, 
and just go around it a couple of times and it cuts pretty easily so uh, just uh, be careful as you do it and cut out that center part. Once you have the center part cut out just throw away the other part and we need to make sure that the bottom is flat. Mine had a little piece of rubber sticking up and so I just wanted to uh, get that cut off so that the bottom was flat and so I just took the razor knife and just carefully uh, trimmed around the little part that was sticking up and, uh, and made the bottom flat. And now we can just insert the handle back into the rubber part and it just screws right back on and just screw it on tightly. Most likely the handle will have a sticker on it and so just go ahead and remove the sticker. Mine was a little challenging to get off um, but um, I did get it off and then um, I just took a piece of sandpaper to uh, remove any leftover adhesive that was on the handle and if you feel any rough spots on the handle just go ahead and sand that as well. Next we're going to paint the handle and I'm going to first paint it with the white paint. And you'll want to paint that rubber end as well. Just don't paint the very bottom, the part that we wanted to make sure was flat because that's what we're going to glue to the bottom of the mailbox. Once the white paint is dry, I'm going to take just a little bit of the black paint, just put a dot on my plate there, and then I'm going to dip my paintbrush in a, just a teeny bit of the black paint and mix it in with uh, some of the white paint to make kind of a gray. And then I'm just going to brush a little bit here and there um, up and down the pole just to give it a little bit more of a weathered look and just give it a little bit more dimension. Once you like the look of your post, just set it aside to dry completely. And then while it's drying, we will work on the base of our mailbox. The first thing is to put the floral foam into the container. And since I'm using the round pieces of floral foam. I don't need to cut them to size but if you have the blocks you'll just want to cut it so they fit down inside your container and then I'm going to add some hot glue to the bottom of my container and glue the first foam to the bottom of the container and then I will just add some more hot glue on top of that piece of foam and add this second piece of foam um, just because I want a thicker uh, piece of foam to push my pole down into. I didn't get my foam quite centered, so I decided to go ahead and measure where the center was on my foam. So I'm just measuring across the diameter and marking the center in the foam. And then I'm just going to turn my bucket and do it the opposite direction as well so that I know right where the center is because I want my pole to be centered in the bucket. Then I just marked the center with a pen and then I'm taking the end of a tool that's round and just pushing it down kind of just making like a guide hole because I don't want the foam to break when I push the handle into it uh, so I just uh, did that to kind of help it go in easier. So let me just add here that I put the stones in and then I decided that I wanted my pole to be a little sturdier so I took the stones back out and added some glue into the hole and on the pole and then also after I put the pole back in the hole then I added a bunch of hot glue all around the, the pole just to make it sturdier and this made a really big difference so I would highly suggest doing this. Another option someone mentioned is to just fill your container with plaster of Paris or Quickcrete 
uh, to hold your pole in place, which, which would work really well. Now that the pole is in place, you can add the stones all around your foam and the pole to help uh, stabilize it. And I like these stones from Dollar Tree because they were flat, uh, most of them. There were some really thin ones, and so they slid down in between the foam and the side of the bucket really easily, and I was able to uh, really stabilize that using those rocks. Next, I'm going to find the center of the bottom of the mailbox. So I'm just going to measure both directions and find the center and mark that so that I know right where I want to glue the mailbox onto the pole. Then I'm just going to add some hot glue right to that center, a fairly generous amount. And we're just going to glue that right onto that flat rubber piece that uh, we have on the end of the pole. Now it's time to add the embellishments and I'm going to first start out with adding some Spanish moss to the bottom and I had first used both bags of the stones but I decided with the Spanish moss that it was too many stones and the Spanish moss didn't really sit down inside the bucket like I wanted it to so I ended up taking out um, the second bag of stones so really I only used one bag of stones and then I uh, added Spanish moss on top of those just like with the Christmas lamp post I'm going to take a couple of the garland ties and just twist the ends together to make it a little bit longer. And for this one, I only needed two um, because this pole is a little bit shorter than the Christmas lamp post. And I'm just winding it around the pole and securing it at the top and the bottom. Then I wanted to add some color down at the bottom and I had this clip with the glittery poinsettia and I decided because there was poinsettias on the little mailbox to kind of go with that theme and so I'm using this on the bottom it has a little glitter poinsettia and a little present and a little gold accent uh, along with the pine and I just thought that was really pretty and so I'm going to use that on the bottom I decided I also wanted to add some florals to the mailbox itself and so I'm going to take two more of the pine ties and fold them in half. Then I'm going to take them and I'm going to turn one upside down so that I have the folded end of one pointing up and the folded end of the other pointing down and then I'm just going to twist them together in the middle and then spread them apart on the, the ends that are um, separate. And so I have kind of three ends on each side. Then I like to just kind of lay things out and see how it looks before I start gluing it all together. So I'm just gonna play with it. You can just uh, use whatever florals or embellishments that you like. And uh, I decided to to continue with the poinsettia theme here and I'm using a gold glittery poinsettia on the mailbox part with some red glittery accents so I'm going for a little bit more of a, a glitzy look on this mailbox than I did on the uh, Christmas lamp post that I made I decided that I wanted my floral embellishment on the side where the flag was 
but I didn't want to glue it so that the flag would not go down because when I store this I want to be able to put that flag down so it doesn't get all bent up because it's just made out of like thick paper so I'm just going to glue my embellishment on just below where the flag is attached uh, being careful not to get any glue on that so that it will still uh, fold down The last thing I decided to add was my little fairy lights and I just tucked the little battery pack kind of underneath the Spanish moss and then just wound the little fairy lights into the greenery at the bottom up the pole and um, in the greenery on the mailbox and I just think it adds a really festive look to this mailbox. our mailbox post project and I love how it turned out and I love how simple it is uh, the, the Christmas lamp post project was great it was a little more involved it involved some tools so for that reason it maybe you know isn't for everyone but this project is a little easier and uh, it just came together really fast and it was easy so uh, I hope you enjoyed that project you know, you could totally change it up for the seasons too if you wanted to. If you didn't want to make a Christmas one um, or you wanted to make one for the different seasons, you could paint the box, the mailbox part, a different color, um, maybe just black or silver or something. And then you could decorate the whole post uh, for the seasons. So like in spring, you could put some spring flowers, maybe some ivy coming up the, the post and around the mailbox, um, add some, you know, a butterfly or something uh, real spring-like. And if for the fall, if you wanted to change it up for fall, then you could put some fall leaves and some uh, fall florals on that and just uh, even maybe a little pumpkin or you know just some different things so uh, you can change it up and I I might be doing that as well but uh, for now I just wanted to show you the basics uh, for a Christmas project since that's what we're coming up on and uh, I hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe also, check in the description box below for the links to my social media accounts. I'd love to have you follow me on there as well. And there will be some links to uh, just some products that I use, also to Dollar Tree's website if you want to check that out. And um, also to that Christmas lamp post video if you'd like to watch that. So thank you again so much for watching and for subscribing. I really appreciate you because without you, there's really no reason for me to be making these videos. And so thank you so much. God bless.